fans of high quality entertainment, welcome to my latest review and ranking for Paul McCartney and Wings. And by the way, uh, you know, some album titles are pretty long. And so in the series, uh, I'm just putting Paul McCartney and then the album, you know, ranking and reviewing and then the album title. Even though some of the albums will be uh, with Wings. And even, like, for instance, Ram. I didn't put Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney, even though that's the way it's credited. But, you know, I, talk, I talked about Linda McCartney in the Ram review. So it's Paul McCartney. And when there's a Wings album, it's Paul McCartney and Wings. Write that down. And one other quick thing I want to say is I know I am not the best at describing songs. You know, some of you probably want a review for every song, you know, in all of the videos. I do talk about some of the songs. In other ones, I say, I, I like that. It's good. It's great. I don't like it. Uh, but there's, you know, if you're not satisfied with my reviews, there's tons of reviews online for any album, including Wildlife. I'm just basically giving you a quick review and a rating. And a ranking, sort of. Or a rating. Yeah, a rating too. So, when this came out in 1971, I remember my brother buying it. And the, the one thing I did not like about it was that, you know, I like the, the album cover, but the back cover, I don't know if it's here, it seemed, you know, kind of cheaply done. And it even had the, uh, it's hard to explain maybe, but, you know, the paper sleeve, it was kind of, you know, the glued on paper for the back instead of like a full normal cover and back cover. But looking back on it now, this is kind of a back to basics. You know, he's starting up a new band, Wings. And so maybe, you know, the back of the, the, the original album cover was kind of like making it look like a, a 60s kind of a deal or something. I don't know. But I like, and I like the little drawing of the band, Wings, at the bottom of it. Uh, but... So anyway, when my brother bought this and I listened to it, uh, kind of like the first solo McCartney album, I was kind of surprised by it. It, it was, but I, I kind of liked uh, like Bib Bop, Bip Bop, and Mumbo. Uh, you know, some of the songs I did enjoy, but overall, through the years, I didn't think it was one of. Paul McCartney and Wings best albums. But buying this remastered version, and by the way, when sometimes <laughs> when I buy a, a remastered version, I don't like it anymore. You'll, you'll hear it probably coming up in one of the future episodes. But this one, but this one, uh, since I bought the remastered version, not the box set, just the regular uh, I think it's two CDs. I enjoyed it much more. And so, going through the songs, and then I'll, actually I'll talk about the production and everything first. So, production, it's pretty good. It's, you know, a kind of a back to basics thing that Paul has going on, so it's kind of rough in spots. Some of them are first takes, I believe, and the band's just starting to gel. But the production is, is good. It's an eight. The album cover by, of course, I believe Linda McCartney took it with a timer or something, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong once before. But I like that album cover. And it's cool those uh, see it better on a vinyl album cover, but a couple of birds there flying by and Paul standing in the water. It's an eight. I'll give it an eight. The lyrics, they're not bad, uh, <laughs> depending on the song, like Bip Bop isn't the greatest lyric. And Mumbo, through the years I thought, I, I don't understand what he's, what he's singing. And I guess, you know, now I realize he's just ad-libbing and making things up and not even making any sense of the lyrics. He's just 
and he's done that with other songs uh, from old takes I've heard. Uh, but the lyrics are, overall, there are seven, because there are some good lyrics on some of the songs. Now, my favorite song. I'm thinking in the past, when I was a young boy, I don't even know if I had a favorite song. I just kind of liked certain songs. But, my favorite song now is Tomorrow. His vocals. Uh, I love the little bit at the end where he's kind of doing an Elvis Presley kind of uh, vocal impersonation great song. I just love it. I love, you know, really strong end to the album. And my least favorite song, and even though there's Bip Bop Link, it's only 52 seconds long, and I c could choose that, but I want to choose a fully composed song, for at least for this video. I can do what I want on my channel. <laughs> so I've chosen, yeah, it's kind of hard, but I think Bip which I do like. And overall, the album rating is a 7. And so the songs, Mumbo, high energy, the band, band sounds great, it's loose. I definitely enjoyed a lot. I, I liked it back in the day, but I definitely enjoy it a lot more now. Uh, Bip Bop is catchy. It, it's kind of, dare I say, stupid though, and gets a little, even though it's only uh, just over four minutes long, it, maybe if it was three minutes it would be not as annoying after a while. But I do like it. Love is Strange is a great cover version. I love that. I've always enjoyed that song. Wild Life, the song, back in the day when I was 58, 60, 13 years old. It's the one song on the album. It's it's very similar to John Lennon's I don't I don't want to be a soldier, I don't want to die, which I still don't care for from Imagine. But it's similar to that. I've I've never I never liked the vocals and the song was too long and I just almost hated it. But now a new appreciation for it. I love his vocals, his passion, of course, you know, knowing now I don't know if he was a vegetarian back in 1971, but uh, just the passion in, in his voice for, for animals, and it's a great track. Some people never know, some people have, some people have mentioned that it kind of drags a bit, but I, I don't find it that way. I find it very interesting. I've got a new CD. Excuse me for a second. Someone's knocking on the door. Someone's ringing the bell. Apologies for the interruption. He actually put it in the mailbox. Uh, I'm reviewing this in my Does This Album Suck series, which, and so that this video will probably be posted before this one. So check it out on my YouTube's channel. And I did say it sucks. Just some Pink Floyd fans have mentioned it not being very good. Where am I? Yeah, some people never know. I love that song. It's great. Uh, I Am Your Singer, once again, Linda McCartney. Some people trash it. I enjoy it. It's a cute song. Linda sings it really well. It's catchy. I love it. Uh, Bip Bop Link is just, you know, kind of a interlude. And then it ends with Tomorrow. And of course, Dear Friend, which of course, I said of course twice, did you see that? Which is a message back to John Lennon after John Lennon did How Do You Sleep? And it's a much more positive, nice message. And that could have been, I could have easily chosen that as my favorite, but between Tomorrow and Dear Friend, I think I, I love Tomorrow just a tad more. But Dear Friend is a very moving 
dare I say, touchy song. And I think that kind of mended the fences a little bit, I think, or something did, because they ended up being more friendly with each other. And it ends with Mumbo Link, which I love more than the... I didn't even realize there, there was Bip Bop Link and then Mumbo Link. I thought, dear, it was just part of Dear Friend. Oh. But yeah, I love the way it kind of ends rocky with the guitars and all that. He's, Paul's done that on a few albums. And in, with a kind of a bit of experimental stuff. So, very cool ending to the album. So, and the, yeah, there's the cartoon that I love. That would have been actually cool as the album. So in my ranking so far, it goes into third spot. That's right. I still love Ram at number one and Paul's debut album at number two. But all three of those, even Wildlife, is a pretty darn good album. I believe. And so I'd love your thoughts on Wings Wildlife in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great day.